How's it going everyone? Just thought I'd do a quick video on finishing this uh, articulated musky fly um, and I'm going to do a Buford head. So um, just going to share a few things with you. Obviously throughout the fly I've been using this side of the bucktail but good tip is don't forget about the back side of this bucktail. This is the hair that can be really good for doing Bufords. Just got to make sure when you cut it off um, you get the guard hairs out. Um, just get that fluff out of there. You just want as much hair, uh, not a lot of crap in there with it. It'll help it spin or stack a little better. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to do three colors on this Buford head. We're doing brown, black, actually four colors. Kind of a yellow and an olive. So I have all this stacked on my table. I'll just put the camera down a bit. I don't know if you can see that. So my hair is all stacked evenly here. Okay. Bring this back. Okay. So, 200 in your Vivas thread. I have a shank, a small uh, flyman shank on here, and I probably got an eye length back from the, the eye itself or the front of the shank. So I don't use a lot of deer hair on the heads of my Bufords. I find, uh, you know, what's nice is you can tie them in different densities depending on what line you're fishing, if you're fishing a river, if you're fishing a river system, if you're fishing a lake. Um, just depending on how buoyant you want that or if you want that fly to sink if you're fishing on a full sinking line but again I don't uh, I don't tie mine too bushy so before I put this on here I'm just gonna show you the color on that so you can see I got a few different colors it's kind of undecided this flies grizzly brown hackle in the back and then kind of the top of the fly is a yellowy olive and then kind of a rust on the uh, on the bottom okay so I'm gonna hold it with my left hand and I'm gonna have about an inch so if you can see that and I'm gonna lay the hair on a 45 of the, to the hook shank and then I'm gonna pinch it with my index finger and my thumb so I'm going to come in up top with my thread, s slowly start to bring the hair more towards you. So on top of the hook shank, one loose wrap, second loose wrap. Now I'm going to start to let it go. And now I'm just letting it spin. And now I'm really going to start put, pulling tight. Just as easy as that. So, happy with that, and that was one bunch of hair, and that's all I'm going to use. So you can see the front. You can see the front, different colors. And then I'm going to come in here, make sure it's nice and tight. You're going to pull it back, weave that thread up front, and then start to wrap tight. Couple pushes there. As long as you got your butt ends even, you shouldn't have to do a lot of trimming. And again, it depends on your fly <laughs> and how long you want to make those so we'll get in here with a half inch half inch half inch cut that all right so see how that turned out so obviously I have to trim it it's nice and even all the way around 
Again, there's the head. That's without trimming it. There's the side. See the different colors.